okay and i'm going to do something quickly all right so i press ctrl shift f10 and there you go you can see something here all right this guy pops up keep this by the side okay and we got this agreed so here uh, you can see some options blur option brightness contrast rotates flip border then browse save and exit okay so if you notice here you see a couple of things okay there is an icon called photo editor clone there is a background image which is which you know for sure it looks like this image let me run something here ctrl shift f10 it doesn't matter so you you can actually get that that it is from here right this weather app fine okay and um we have some what text boxes okay that contains some value value some value is there okay and then we have a slider now as i drag this slider i'm going to get an error because this has not been handled so as i drag this okay so you will see something here okay actually it should show here okay it's telling you that um it should be here okay look here image path is not defined okay obviously okay you see as i drag that that is there all right so this should actually happen only when an image has been selected else you see um handle the exception and don't give me this annoying screen agreed that's not what I wanted. Fine. So, and you got something here with a tiny stuff. You could see there is a border, right? Yes, a border attached to this, right? Okay. So you can call it an entry widget now with a border. And it has a dimension of some sort. So the dimension is there. We don't know what the dimension is. And we got these options. Browse, save, and exit. Now you've seen this behavior, right? Fine now can you actually check how is jumping is it jumping evenly you know okay fine and then don't mind okay look at this it's not defined look at rotation option you can rotate it at 30 it's basically a list i will explain all these things in detail 60 90 120 150 180 270 360 you can keep incrementing it okay 120 150 180 after 180 is what 210 right okay so let me just add that so 210 agreed fine there we go it's called what flip right okay so come to flip fine populate the list okay so you see here 30 60 oh sorry that is rotate agreed that is rotate please 30 60 90 whatever now you can see it's a list so let's just add some stuff here after 180 we have what 210 200 i'm just taking in i mean in increment of 30 degrees it doesn't really matter right there is no default value for this or a default rule for that okay so this is done so after 210 is what 240 agreed then 270 after 270 is what aha uh -huh, 300 then 330 and what 360 fine okay let's just close this for now Control shift f10 all right so if you go back here you can now see the effects okay 120 150 180 210 27 oh my god yeah and then 360 fine good after that you see flip from left to right and from bottom to up and you see border okay so border again was populated from a for loop taking the increments of five so you can feel free to always reduce this i mean it all depends on you so if you want the border to start from maybe like one to maybe like 10 you can also do that and we will do that in a while okay so maybe 40 is the maximum border it doesn't matter you can also reduce that okay so we will get into that and then we adjust all the stuff so let's start now i'm going to browse an image okay get to the background i kept something here i called sportswear okay now this image has appeared here um let's apply this effect of blurring the image now when i slide over so i can see that right the image is blurred fine okay Let, let's let's leave the blur effect go back and then let's get back to brightness 
So if you apply, okay, it's become too white, right? Too bright. Too much of everything is bad. Bring it. Okay. Okay, something here. Somewhere there. Okay. Okay, maybe something like that. Then I work on the contrast, okay? Uh, maybe what I want to do was just to maybe like, um, okay, maybe add, flip it to, uh, maybe let's flip it uh, 180 degrees, okay? Um, okay, it's come there. Mm, maybe, maybe a little bit. Maybe 240. I don't even know what I'm doing, but let's see. Okay, uh, maybe go to 330. Okay, it's come here. Okay, um, was it like that actually? No. Let me get back to zero. Okay, this was how it was. And maybe I'll flip. Okay. So we can actually, yes. Okay. So I've turned it the other way. Agreed? Now, maybe what I intend doing was, um, if it is that way, maybe now I can maybe rotate it this way. Okay. Uh, get it back to zero again. Fine. Okay. And then repeat the same effect. Okay. Fine. Let it face that side. And then maybe try adding a border. Maybe I wanted this border to be of size 20. Now let's save this. So if I click on save, it says, okay, fine. And look here, guys. You see some five formats. Okay. So five formats, you see PNG, JPG, TIF, Web, and whatever, SVG. Okay. So you can populate it. Think of various five formats that you know. And we can actually add that. We can remove it from here also, no problem. Now, what happens when I didn't choose any of these five formats? Let's say I said um, it is demo and press save. Now, if I get back to this folder, it's called this. I'll look for demo. Now, by default, it, it, it took what? JPG. Okay. So if I open this, I should be able to see that with the border. Agreed? And it is facing that way. Okay, cool. By the way, this was the original one. Agreed? So let's see if we can actually keep them side by side, this and that, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I don't know how the, okay, I think it was facing this way, but anyway. Okay, so this is it, and let's just start, okay? So before we start, we need a couple of things which we didn't know. If you notice here, you will see that there is a slider that appears here, and there is a kind of a drop-down button that appears here. And you DCC also, okay, drop down, drop down menu, fine. And when you save, it's giving you some options. Agreed? Fine. So you can actually do some stuff here, kind of stuff. And then you can call the, maybe this is open file, something like that. And it should allow you to choose from anywhere. Maybe I want the YouTube, whatever. I want my pictures. I want documents. Okay? It should allow you to choose from anywhere, right? Maybe on the desktop, fine. Then, finally, when you click on, sorry, that is not, has not been read, no problem. So when you click on exit, it should do what? It should quit and close this app. Okay. That leads us to what now? Ex uh, what do you call it? Extended study. Okay, we need to do little study on what? If I dialogue method, okay? That is this guy we're talking about. And since you're gonna work with images, Okay, we have to use what this image filter, image enhancement, photo image, and then we now have to do what? Combine everything together and build this. So if you inspect the code, uh, let's get back there. You will see something here. Let me maximize this now. Maybe try to clear this stuff. Now let's start from here. If you notice here, you will see something, okay? So many things was imported. At least you know about this. You know about this. You know about this. But now we need this file dialog. Agreed? Now, you see, we've used as open file name. Do you remember? We've used this before, right? Now, we also need what? Ask save file name. Basically, the open is to for us to what? Browse the image. And save is for us to save the image. Now, this stands for Python image library. So in case Okay, if you don't, if it gives an error, you have to get to your terminal and you say pip install install below. Okay, which stands for Python image library. Okay, as you can see, it says requirements already what satisfied. All right. Okay, so in case if it gives you an error, okay, error message or something like that, you have to do this. Okay, and then we need this OS. Fine. And you see, basically, whatever we've seen, okay, create the root window, okay, we are doing this code is like that, okay, and then 
put the title, use this to set the word icon, set some geometry, put some background image, and then place some stuff, make it to be of relative width and height, which we actually saw when we are building our what? Weather API, or weather, sorry, weather app. And since we needed to kind of find where the path is, that's why we imported OS, fine. Now inside there, we need to, okay, say fine, get what? Now you might think, okay, what is this get CWD, okay? Fine, okay, maybe current window, okay? So now, what is it actually? What is this? So you see here, at least for now, you didn't know about this thumbnail, right? So, and then this OS, whatever, all the methods that are in there, and you have seen the get method, no doubt. Then the image filter, because when I call box blur, whatever is in within that window, it has to blur it out. It's already implemented. Don't worry, we'll look into most of them. And when I say enhance, see, okay, I'm calling this method, okay? Then image enhance dot, I needed the brightness, pass whatever I take from that image, fine. No problem, pass it as an input. Now for contrast also, you see image enhance dot contrast call this class method enhance and that's it now you go to rotate image again we want that image to be in a particular window now when we start rotating okay fine whatever we have kept inside this box okay we could rotate combo we'll see that very soon okay whatever we kept inside there we have to rotate it according to that and remember it is an integer so you have to type cast it now, so if you look at this and you see whatever you've seen there, flip left to right and flip right to left, and then this continues. So why did I call this day 37 and 38? Actually, if, if we start coding this up from scratch, okay, it has to take us, it will take us not less than four hours, all right? And then why are these images set to null, all right? Because if you watch, whatever we actually take from these image objects, right? So, so here, by default, we don't want to see here, you don't want it to have some values, okay? Unless we call this method or these methods, all right? So only when we call it from this image 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11, okay? Only when you call the method, okay? So we'll go to that and in a while. And all you have seen, all the file types, right, was added here as what? A tuple inside a list, fine? Or you think of it as just basic list of what file types and the extension we use the formats what string to say file dot whatever okay and now we now ensure that see whatever we take from that corresponds to the empty images right so if this holds through then only we now create i mean come to this what labels and combo buttons and stuff and format edit okay and you have seen this anchor also so in case you've forgotten where e stands for uh, east N stands for north and then you can get north west north east most basically the four cardinal points and if you extend it you have the eight cardinal points where you get north east north west south east south west something like that and all these things and then maybe what you have not seen is orient which stands for orientation it can be like portrait or landscape so in this case we say horizontal or vertically fine and um apart from that yeah these are the values right as just shown you and when you call this bind method, right? So this combo select combo box selected, okay? So we pop drop we keep it as what or uh, what uh, drop down list, fine. And then remember also some stuff I'm going to show you in detail, fine. When you call this add border, right? Using a folder to populate the border from five to forty-five in steps of five. So if you wanted it to be like maybe like from one to ten, so you can actually change it say from one to ten, okay? And in steps of maybe two, fine. So um, it goes from maybe in steps of two, so it's gonna populate it like that. So if you see here, you're gonna see something like this. Let's go there, uh, that was in uh, this one, border, right? So you're gonna see one, three, five, seven, nine, fine? Or you start from two if you want it to be evenly distributed, okay? So it doesn't matter, so the border becomes smaller, no problem. And then you see all this. So maybe you have not had of relief, fine? So it is a what, what an attribute in the button, okay? So we look at the button method in a while now, okay? I mean, do a detail study on that. And keep this loop open until you close it, fine. So that means that we've seen a couple of things that we need to do some study on that. So let's get back, okay? So if you get back here, we're gonna open a new window and also not had of relief, fine. Sorry for the interference. I left it open in my PC, okay? So what do we need to do now? We need to look into what? File, dialog. In what? Tinkta, all right? So if you get here, okay, so let's go to the official documentation. 
or maybe we go to Python basics. And here you see, okay, so this is a standard thing that input dialog, right? So this model is what, it contains what convenient classes and functions for creating simple model word dialogues to get the value from the user. So if you have imported think that as maybe alias, you can say tk dot simple dialog, fine. Ask floats, obviously you want to convert it, maybe like, okay, for floating point values, okay, for integer and for string, by default it's gonna be a string. So you can see some example. Okay, so scroll down here. Um, okay, it's not actually given as an example here. But anyway, so here the file dialog contains your load dialog, your save dialog, even your okay command or so as well, right? To so test, you get test whether or not selection points to a valid file is not a directory. Okay, confirmation is required if that already exists. Fine. Now set selection, set filter, quit by default, obviously exit the dialog button. Okay, event returns what the current running selection and something like this. So I believe there will be an example here. So as you can see this, right? So we have this, okay? So this shows the current directory and things like that. And you see the dialog. So he imported this file dialog what as what? As what? FD. So instead of him to be using file dialog everywhere, we have to use what? FD. And again, instead of using Tinkta everywhere, just use what? TK. So ask open file name. Fine. Just to check whether this exists. Fine. So once you click on this, now this button, this uh, function is called what? Callback, right? So initially he has to call it, I think, when you click on this open, okay? When you click on this open, you have to call this function. So, okay, if you get back, I think he didn't even complete the code. But okay, there should be an option for to select next. So if you, oh, no, no, that's a different thing. But you got the concept, okay? So this will ask, okay, inside there, inside file dialog. So we need to know all the methods that are there, okay? So can so, so this what create a basic file dialog with most of this stuff right command then event whatever whatever filter selection go okay event quit and everything fine okay now if this holds true now let's look at what the image filter method so you get back there so okay fine what is this actually image filter in what thing ta fine. So if this holds true, so you see there, this works with what? Python image library. So that's why you need to kind of import this. Let's see one of the mistakes which was in that. It said, how do you add in, how, okay, how about adding filters to this? How to add images in Tinkta using this pillow package, okay? So because this is present, okay, in what? Python or what pillow, okay? Which is a package for image processing capabilities. So let's see what happens here. He says here that he actually wanted, okay, okay. So you see a pass orient to be horizontal and stuff like that. So uh, following is the filter code and then which is a kit. What was this error? Think that and okay, he didn't actually get the stuff, but look at the current whatever, okay, corrections. And I don't really want to work on this because it's not related to what I'm talking about. So what is related to what I'm talking about is this image filter model, which contains definition for a predefined set of what filters which can be used with what image dot filter method right now they are used to change the looks and feel of the image okay that's why there when we wanted that right we called the other methods right like okay minimum filter dot blur so if you see this was our in area our region of interest right we are interested in blur agreed fine so we loaded this image okay it's called jungle safari i think jungle Saf something too and then for this right so better you know there will be lots of file names uh, sorry lots of yeah file names or variables now so i'll always stick to like img1 img2 img3 it doesn't matter okay i don't want to start creating variables unnecessarily so you can call it l image view image load image you know save image something like that give it some unique name now this is it okay i want to blow this image fine i'll now show that so this minimum filter is three I'll show that. Okay, so image filter that's okay, minimum filter. Set as same as what minimum filter as three because by default is three. So you see here. So image filter the size is three. Now see here, I have chosen this, right? Obviously. And then this is the output, right? So we I record the blood. I think this was blood. Yeah, the first original image. This is the blood image. Fine. This is blood with minimum filter. Okay. And then I think that that is that should be done. Okay, now this is again blood alone. Okay, 
So you can actually see that in between, you can also have this what in the same way the image filter method, you can pass any of the following parameters to get what output. So we, we actually use contour there, okay? And you can actually do what we call uh, what edge sharpening, okay? Or edge enhancement. So you can find the edges, you can smoothen them, you can do some soft enhance, this edge enhancement and things like that. So using the contour, so you see there, we passed it what as an argument, fine? So what did you get? So this is the input and then this is the output. So it basically it focuses on what this is, sorry, the filtered image, original filtered, yes. So again, it focuses more on the boundary regions, fine? So this is it. And then if you check how to add this to this, okay, with this widget, everything. First of all, you have to pip install it, fine. If it didn't work, you just say pip3, okay? Though mine, I just said pip install and that worked, okay? I did it here, right? The terminal. I did it here, I think, yeah, pip installed and it worked. If it didn't work for you, you just change it back to pip3, okay, if you're using Python 3. Obviously, I'm using Python 3, so if you do the same thing, it should still work, okay, fine. So, um, then now that's it, and then you can actually load the stuff and things like that and resize it. So, this is it, and let's look at another word method, okay? That is called what the photo image, fine. So, where is it presenting? Again, in the pillow library, okay? So this is called, you can actually check this photo image, okay, in what Tinkta, fine, okay. So if you get back here, you see here Tinkta photo image, this tutorial makes more sense. And this person is asking, how does this actually work in photo image? Or what is this Tinkta photo image, right? Again, it's one of the inbuilt method which has been used to add what user-defined images, right? Because this is exactly what you wanted to do, right? So it's also the keyword that has what, that, that has typically, okay, it's also the keyword that has typically, I don't know, called the parameters file and then store. But you got the concept, what it is actually, okay? So it returns the image object, displays the image in a simple format, usually for whatever user defined stuff. Let's look at stuff because there will be lots of what, um, what you call it parameters, right? So the first one is the file, right? Which is the what part to the image. So this part, you can specify it implicitly or you can specify it explicitly. Example, this is the file part, right? Inside here, some folders are there before you get to assets folder. Okay, maybe here some root directly before you get to assets folder. So for that, we say dot slash, okay? So this forward slash, then you come to assets folder. Inside there, he has this Python dot PNG, okay? So this is the image he wants to, okay? And then this is the main method. Um, moderators, can you remove this person? This is why I don't enable chat for everyone. Please remove that person. Okay, so this is it. Moderators, just remove the person. So this is it, and then we do this, fine. So people install this, obviously, everything is present in what Python image, what library. So how did we build this app, okay? So this is it, and let me just show you a kind of uh, an architecture or an overall diagram of how the app you are seeing was built. So if you check this, all right, we started basically by looking at what? So this is the border. So let's keep it side by side so that we understand what we are doing and get back here. Run this once again, okay? And you keep it here. So you see, first thing, we did stuff, some stuff, okay? So this is what the what geometry, okay? Now, and it is of size, started with 640 cross 640, maybe moved to 700 cross something, okay? Maybe 700, 720 cross 6700 something of that nature. And after that now, try to what do what. Remember, we never added minimize, maximize, understand, close, no way. We just, it would be there by default. So we just say, okay, fine. Instead of that thing, that icon to appear, we downloaded an image, right? So, which is in form of .ico, I think I called it photo.ico. And then added a title, which was called what photo, what editor clone. Now, after this was done, now I went and added a background, fine. So the background was in blue. So after the background was added, now start creating all these buttons, okay? So I will just demo it and we will wind up in exactly 10 minutes. Moderators beware, in exactly 10 minutes we wind up, all right? So you see here, okay, let's look into the code now, okay? Do try to understand this. So initially, initially, what did we do? Go back here, fine. I imported only this and what this, okay? Now, I did not import all these guys. It was because of as the, prog as the project proceeds then, 
we did that, okay? Now, I created an instance of that, set the title, set the icon. So, by, uh, by the way, this icon, obviously, I've shown you how to download that, but in case I'm seeing some people that are joining for the first time, ensure you go to Google and search for free ICO files download. Now, this guy will pop up, fileicons.icons.com, but most times I don't trust it, okay? Though it says free, you know, let me look at this once again, text editor. Um, I think it will allow me to wait for some time. The one I find easy is this one, iconarchive.com. So I go to Icon Archive, and then I needed something here. So I needed a photo, whatever. So by default, I'm going to get something like this with lots of images that populates on the screen. Okay, so I'll get something of this nature. Fine, okay, photo is there. So anyway, so by default, it is like this. One minute, I don't want a search query. Um, it will be like this only for iconarchive.com. Now here, what I will do, I was okay, fine, I need there to search for what? Maybe I am working on photo editor, so I'll search for photo, something like that, or camera, anything. Okay, now with this, now it came here, now I can see any one I can choose, and these are royalty free images, okay, icons, I beg your pardon. Now I needed any of them, maybe something like this, I can actually grab this, fine, click on that, and then it should allow me to download it in what? Dot ICO format. So I'll take this guy like this, fine. And basically, once I get this now, I need to create my what? Initially, I need to create my project directory. So it's called here, um, actually it was Notepad clone. Okay, I'm keeping it inside there. But in case if you are starting out, feel free to call it the name of the app which you are working on, okay? So you call it what? Photo editor. And there you have kept this what? Editor icon, you can see it here, fine. And again, I needed a background image also. I went and I downloaded that background image. Fine, this one. And remember again, your background image has to be in PNG. All of them has to be in PNG. After this is done, now what I need to do now, I wanna start what? Populating my program, fine. So set this, now put some dimension, okay? Which you finally modify once the project is over. Now, and I use relative width and relative height to make it what? Uh, have that fluidity, okay? No problem. So this was the photo image thing where I chose the image, right? A user defined image or user supplied image. Let's not call it defined now. And pass it there as what? The background image. Fine. Now leave all these functions. Okay. Now you come down here and what you do now, you start creating the label. Okay. For blur. Fine. The text is blur, right? The font is Times New Roman 17 and it is bold. And we have seen you can actually call it bold italics, right? Now, if you notice there, you see some width is there. Okay, so if you go back here, you see the width is this much, right? So you see the width. So what, what happens now in case I don't just want this, I want it to maybe I can say width of five. Let me show you the effect. Now, control shift F10. Now, if you see, did you see here? It has kind of closed up, all right? Now, what you might want to do is you want to make blur, brightness, and contrast to be of the same width as these sliders, right? So what you do in that case is, you come here, you add all the width attribute to all of them, blur, brightness, and contrast. As you see here, all these ones doesn't have width. So let's say width is uh, eight, fine. Then I'm gonna copy this guy, fine. And anchor is east. So anchor, we have seen that in the previous class, east, if we change it to any, it becomes north. If you change it, just, just imagine, east is to the east of, is placed to the east position, right? Fine this way okay so not maybe like you have something here to be towards the edge okay okay fine now i'm taking this fine and then place now it's like it's what what we call what our geometry right so you can you have seen we have seen grid we have seen um what was it pack and we are now see we have seen place also okay so adjust it until you get a particular destination okay i mean get the desired location horizontally move 15, uh, let's call it now 15 inches, okay? And then move vertically eight inches and just position it there. Now we have seen this actually, right? We have seen string var, we have seen globe, uh, what, uh, uh, string var and we have seen int var. We explained this previously, okay? They are kind of my global word variables, which I have to refer in those methods, okay? And now orient can be just horizontal exactly. And then by default, obviously, you know, this command will not be there, right? It's a method. Only when we, when we do what now, when we click on that button, right? Okay, which says some blur, some stuff is gonna call this what? 
method blur which we defined later after positioning everything there and you can see the contrast brightness blur okay fine now let's continue so here we are and we have made this to be of same width eight now what i will do i will get back to the other one right so brightness after this now what i need to do before the anchor so i can say okay fine let me make the width to be of the same and then move to the last one right which is my contrast so okay fine i need that do it to be of the same control shift f10 so if you go now you see now here because of the length right see here okay so it's actually this fits properly but these are there some unnecessary stuff right so you can decide now not to put this word attribute okay that's the effect i wanted to show you okay so you can decide now not to put that so that it makes more sense okay now, after that is done, okay, I try commenting most of these things. I mean, highlighting them out so that it becomes easy for you to follow. That is done. Contrast is done. Brightness is done. Now, same thing for rotation, okay? And then these are the whatever now. I needed the values, right? So these values, okay, I'll need to pass it into what? The combo, what? Text. Uh, now, I need the, this combo is present in what? Python, uh, sorry, thinkta.ttk. Uh, so look here. If you go up, we said import Tinta as TK, but we are importing Tinta from Tinta import TTK, okay? So this TTK library is kind of used to maybe like, uh, it's not my like my pretty file, but if I really then just look at, let me just show you what I mean. So TTK in Tinta, okay? TK, okay? T-K-I-N-T-E-R, okay? So if you see, many a times when I start working on this, okay, it provides you access to a themed widget. Okay, so we have the widgets, but it was introduced in Tinkta 8.5. Okay, so if your project has been earlier developed, it may not work. So when should I use this or that? You see here, use for what? Adding buttons, labels, and whatever. However, TTK doesn't support what? Place pack and what? Grid geometry. Thus, it's recommended to use what? The Tinkta widget. With what? TTK. That's why when we import that, we see we imported both of them, right? So we imported both Tinkta and we imported what? The themed Tinkta. Fine. Okay. So that is it. And then uh, with that, we will continue. And this is what we'll have here. Uh, where are we? Yeah. See, this is done. Contrast. Okay. And in this case, if you see, I want it to scale, right? Okay. Let's start from this guy. Okay. Um, yep. This is fine. Okay. Blood is done. This is done. This is done. So look here. When I say rotate, we just added this, right? So if you want, you can actually add them to jump only maybe like in scales of 90 or in multiples of 90. So that you get 90, 81, 82, 70, 360 and all whatnot. Same. Okay. So now these values will be passed into this, right? No problem. And whatever is being displayed there, if you watch here, when I select some stuff, okay, it gets bolded, right? The same font gets applied to them. All right. If you like, you can, I mean, forget to imp implement that. No worries. Fine. And same thing happens with flip. So flip, now look here, it takes these two options from left to right and from right to left, okay? Now, if you check uh, vividly, you see um, flip dot place, excuse me, um, okay, um, yeah, okay, this is fine. Yeah, no problem, yeah. In this now, okay, yes, I'm just passing this to no worries. And then in the flip, all right, don't get confused. So the cop drop down box will appear. So you can actually check this now combo box. Obviously, that is what it will do for you. And initially, I needed, maybe I needed when I say border. And this is what we just imp implemented now. Fine. Again, drop down, I have to select. So that is all about these guys, right? This guy. Now, where is this text area? This text area is called a, cam it's a canvas, right? With some width and some height. So you can see the effect. Let's say I just said the width horizontally is maybe like 300, 400. And vertically, I remember it's 700, right? Maybe vertically I say 200. Okay. So if you run this now, you see the effect here. So you see this is the drawing area we are talking about. Fine. Now you just undo the whole thing and let it, oh my God. Fine. And let it just take the default value. Okay, um, let's get back here. There we are. And then this is what we have. So if you run it, fine, we'll be able to see it is going back. Fine. And that is it. And here you have all these buttons, right? So the bot first button is button that will do what? Ask you to browse. So, right? So it's going to ask you to browse. That means I want this to happen only when I call this method. Agreed. 
So the method is called what? Select, um, selected method. And it's a function. So that's why we are using the command here. So we see that data. You may keep in mind so many functions are there. We have seen blob, we have seen brightness, we have seen everything. Now this is selected. And the next one is called save. So in save, obviously, okay, we want this as a head button too. And then use some fonts, head vertical and stuff like that. And then for background is black, foreground is white. That's why let's say, let's put foreground just to show the effect. Let's put for, foreground as blue. And then we see the effect, okay? So you see here, now you see save has turned to blue, all right? In case if you want to modify them, it mustn't be white, white, and white. Let's say you want exit to be red, you can actually add that in exit, fine? So, and remember one thing here, exit is already implemented for us, right? We have actually seen this before, okay? So when I work on this exit, sorry, <laughs> I wanted to type red, I typed exit, fine? So when I get back here, so I was okay, fine. When I call on, when I click on this, I want it to exit. And then when I want to save, I wanted it to be blue or some shade of blue, anything. And then when I'm browsing, it has to be white, no problem. So, and exit, we do only call what the destroy method, okay? Okay, so that means we are not going to implement this or you just say exit and keep this loop open until you close it. Now we finish placing all our widgets, right? We've placed all our buttons. Now let's go and turn them into actionable events. That's why you see we have come, we have seen this previously, right? That all our methods should be defined above before we call them. Agreed? Because if you go in this order, after you are done with all these steps, fine. And then if you happen to define your method below, it will tell you this method, whatever the function name is not defined. Fine. Hence, you go up and then put them there. So it doesn't matter, but you can start in the order in which it's being called. It doesn't matter also, it can go into any order. So selected. Now remember the concept of our global what variable, fine? So the image part, remember it has to put it irrespective of where we are. And I needed initial directory, right? That's why I'm using this or get context or current window, okay? So current directory, sorry, please. So there it asks me what using this method, ask open file name, fine. So this is done, okay? Now, this is selected image, no worries. Now, let's go to the blood, fine? So, in that range of the stuff, okay, remember we are using context, right? Because the what now, the variable is here, right? In that, we call it here V1D, remember? It's somewhere down here, okay? It's a what, kind of similar to my what, uh, global variable, similar. But let's look at it here. What's the difference between int var and what string var? Let's look at int var here. Okay, and string var. Okay, or let's start with this in var in Python 3. What is this actually? It holds a string which is like my default value. This is string which is like my integer value, but default is zero. So by default here, it is what? Null, okay, an empty string. And we've actually seen this double var and float var, okay? We saw this when we are building that calculator. Do you, do you remember, guys? Fine, okay? So that is it, fine, and then we continue. So this is what we have, and we are done with this method. Agreed? Blur method. Now we move to the brightness. What is the variable? V2, okay, for the brightness. Now, same thing. What we need to do, we just look into this image enhancement dot brightness, fine? On the what image which was loaded, fine? And after that, this is dimension of which wants you to have. And at the end of the day, we move to contrast. What is the variable name there for V3, and then Work on the contrast image, fine. And finally, not sorry, finally, you go to rotate, okay? So rotate image, then go to flip image, and this was what we added, okay? So if you want flip left to right, so you have to use this method now. So you say image.transpose. So let's look at this. Transpose method in the, what? Image library, okay? So what, how many arguments are there? Apart from left to right, right to left, do we have right, do we have flip bottom, sorry, do we have top to bottom and then whatever? You got my point? Apart from these two, okay? Because we can actually implement all the other methods, okay? So you go here and you say, okay, fine, let's look at this word, uh, transpose method in whatever, okay? PIL, below. So we say, okay, fine, um, transpose mm, in what, below, mean, Python, okay, 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 below, okay, fine, build, transpose, build, image, fine. So you see here, what does this method do, okay? So this is what, okay, fine, a flip or rotate 
by 90 degrees or something. Now, look at all the options, okay? So, if you say C by default, guys, flip left to right. Flip top to bottom. You get that? So, these are the two options which I used. Now, you can actually say flip what? Rotate 90 degrees. Rotate 180 degrees. Rotate to 70 degrees. Agreed. So, fine. In that, so we'll do what now? we go here and in, you add this, okay? So, for that, I need an object reference for that. Fine. So, only the two common ones is just imp uh, implemented here. Got it? Next. So, for the border, right? When I call this, I'm going to take from the what? Combo, okay? Whatever is there, okay? So, take it from that, whatever I pass inside there. Remember, I needed it as an int because it will be there by default as what? F uh, string. Just pass that and that's it, okay? And this is now when I save. Now, this is very important, right? All the irrespective of what, how many I, I have used, the image part, the image, the, all the images, all of them, okay? I've kept them as what? The global variable, fine? Now, I will now check. You know, we yesterday we saw partition method and split method, right? So, this split, yes, this split will actually split it based on the dot extension name. And once he splits it now, guys, please look here. We are interested in the last index, which happened to be my extension name, okay? So the extension name is called what? Dot .jpg, dot .png, dot .cif, dot .anything. And that is what I need, okay? So I will ask, okay, fine, five types what? And I'm using my format what? F-string, okay? It says all files of any, when I say all files, I need to see star dot star in the drop-down menu, which is what we've seen here, okay? So uh, let's go and browse an image, then only it will appear. So here you see, okay, um, when I say save, you're going to get these options, right? Fine. So you can actually add now. Let me remove one here and then you see. Remember, this guy is there, okay? Uh, uh, SVG, right? So I'm going to remove this SVG, okay, for now. So I put them as a, I took them as a list, so I'm going to remove this guy. Fine, okay? I hope I did not see her. Okay, it's still covered. Fine. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, if that's the case, and that's fine. Okay, and that covers that. Okay, so this was what happened now. Let me just show you here. SVG is removed, and you can now see that. Let's go and browse one image just to show you what the effect. And if you come here to save, now you see SVG is no longer there. Fine. So all this, you added it yourself. Fine. Now, this is fine. And what you do next is... Um, after this is the method is done, right? So we are done with whatever we want to do, right? Then we now run this program and work on that, add the whole stuff, and that's it, okay? So on this note, I want to thank you guys for listening, but I had all the methods which was not implemented here. Example, look at this, rotate this, rotate that. Yes, we did it here. Yes, we did it here, okay? But this is actually different. Instead of this flipping these two options, right? I need the five options to appear. Hence, rotation can be of any what increment or interval. You can even start from, uh, yes, sure. Okay, flip. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, let me show the flip. Thank you, Sashi. Okay, so uh, let's run this. Control shift F10. Okay, so let's browse an image now and um, uh, let's take some image. Uh, example, I'm going to use the same thing. Fine. Now, uh, now look here. Sorry, I did not show that. So you have seen all the brightness. Fine. You have seen the blur, brightness and whatever, and the blur. Oh, sorry, I did not tell you something that happens here, okay? So this was an interval of 1 to 10. Like, this slide is between 0, sorry, to 10. I mean, 1 to 10. Let me just show you that, and I will demo this flip. So if you go to that brightness, um, let me show you here. Okay, so you see, um, did you see this, please, guys? I did not explain this scale. Look here, scale from 0 to 10. Okay, the brightness. Now, let's make it from, and this is a global what I have uh, uh, a variable, from underscore. It has to be like that, from underscore, okay? Now, 0 to 10 for all the scales. Now, let's make it 0 to 5. You see how it's going to jump. Okay, 0 to 5. Okay, let me make it 5 now. And this guy, I'm going to say 0 to 5 again, okay? Now, I then the last one, 0 to 5. Okay. Now, watch what happens here. Control shift F10. Now, watch. Now, did you see this, how this guy is moving? I mean, look here. You can literally just click. Yeah. See how you understand. Watch. One, two, sorry. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Did you get that? Fine. 
Now I will show the flip now. Okay, so zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, take care. So I will exit this. I will run that and then show the flip. So here uh, we browse the image and then we take a uh, same image. Okay, and discard uh, spots where. Okay, spots. Yeah. Okay. So let's flip this now. Watch. Did you see that? Fine. Okay. I hope, Sashi, I hope this was what you asked of. Now, let's add a small border. I wanted the border to be three. Did you see the border? And now, watch here, please. So, as soon as I put this now, now watch, he's turned it back to the position. Now, I'll flip it now. Okay? You got the point now. So, I will just save this, and that's it. Okay? So, I'll say flip demo. Okay? And that's it. And once I click on this, I'm going to get it as what? Um dot p dot jpg by default okay so any other questions guys uh, i called it flip demo okay so you can see that and that was exactly what we have here okay and you can actually compare it to the initial one okay this was all the ones we have seen so this was the original thing and this was the flipped one okay so sorry um you got but you got the point right what i was trying to show you here okay so any other questions, we just wind up. So it was called flip demo, and that was it. Okay, cool, fine. So I want to compare both side by side, yes, okay? So this is the flip version of this guy. And this also has, it's like little blood, right? And this is the what? Uh-huh, the original one. So yes, on this note, I want to thank you guys for tuning in once again. And um, yep, if you have other questions, you feel free to contact me, and yeah. So I wind up now and try as much as possible to implement this yourself. That's the only way you learn, right? Fine. And if you have any doubt, feel free to get in touch. Okay. Take care, guys. And moderators, please give them the attendance. Bye for now. See you tomorrow.